Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Shannon Morris, and today I'm adding a password to my Windows 8 computer. Yay! Now, you probably already have a password set up for your user account on your computer, but you can do better. There's another password that you can set so that your computer, when it boots up, you'll be required to type it in. This is called a UFI or a BIOS password. So back in the day, it was pretty easy to get to. During the boot process, you'd press a special function key, and then that would get you to the BIOS. Under a security tab, you choose which password to set up and what order you'd like your Windows computer to boot up in. Now with Windows 8, the steps are a little bit backwards. You have to log into your user account and then have access to the settings menu. The easiest way to do that is through your charms bar on the right side. Click settings and then click power and hold down shift and press restart. Now a magical new menu appears with a bunch of boot options for the UEFI settings or UEFI. Choose troubleshoot, advanced options and go to UEFI firmware settings. This will give you access to a bunch of information at the brain of your computer, including admin options, security options and boot options. It'll want you to restart your computer to access the UEFI settings. Now, the one that you want to focus on is your security options. Each computer is a little bit different, but for mine, I have the option to set a supervisor password. You may see admin password on your own computer. I enable that and then I input a new password. I also chose to have a password on boot enabled and then I click my boot options. Now in this part, you want your computer to attempt to boot into Windows first before trying any alternate operating systems like ones found on a hard drive or a thumb drive. That way no one can stick a flash drive in your computer and boot into their own operating system before your computer has a chance to do its regular routine. So save Save your choices and then it'll restart into Windows 8. So you now have a secure password set up on your BIOS or your UFI, as well as a user password. Now go forth and download all the things on your secure computer. Why don't you try audible.com for some excellent audiobooks? Have you heard of Divergent, the movie, right? Yeah, listen to the audiobook. It is so good. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. And for more from Techzilla, hit up youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com and share what you think below with me or tweet at techzilla. I'm Shannon Morse. Thanks for watching.